What's good? It's your boy, O5 Dynasty. You already know. I ain't with that side talk. Pop shells at him. Rep your gang gang. You know what I'm saying? Here back with another vlog. Just want to talk to the people. You know? I've been doing this um, kind of a daily vlog thing. I don't know. I like it, man. It's pretty cool. You know, I get to talk to the people and express, like, my feelings about certain things or, like, on certain topics and try to, you know, drop some gems and some jewels. So I think I might I might keep up with this depending on, like, how I feel, you know? I might, or I might take some time off and then come back. You know how it is. And some, sometimes it's, it's, it's not too much to give people. It's not, it's not good to give people too much, you know? So we'll see. I know how this whole YouTube thing works or just people work in general. But, hey, we're here today. So the topic I want to talk about today is, is, uh, is when I got fired from my job. So and I'm not talking about the job that I work at right now. I'm talking about years ago, I got fired <laughs> from my job. And um, the funny thing is, though, I got fired and then I got rehired in the same conversation. <laughs> so I, I guess I'll just tell you the story. So I'm working... Um, at a boys and girls club, and um, I was one of the I was one of the uh, good counselors there. Like I, I'm not just saying that just to say it, because if I was if I was a bad counselor, like I just didn't put in my work, I would say that too. But I was winning a lot of awards. You know what I'm saying? It was like through the roof. I had plaques all over my all over my house. I don't have my plaques anymore, but I had plaques. Um, I lost the plaques from my, when my pops lost his house and we were homeless. Our, all of our stuff went into storage and we never got the stuff from storage. So I lost all like those valuable plaques. And it's and it's crazy because that organization is no longer around. So that would be the only like, you know what I'm saying, fossils of <laughs> my award. So um, I don't ever talk too much about those awards anymore. But anyway, so I was I was doing good. You know what I'm saying? I was I was in charge of my camp. I was the I was the leader of my camp. Um and the reason why I knew I was doing good is because the way I conducted myself in my camp. Um, I actually had the, the team members under me winning awards as well. So at the end of like, you know what I'm saying, the summer or whatever it was, when it was time for the award show, I was getting like you know, counselor of the year, whatever, you know what I mean? I would, I would, like whatever, I was getting like the counselor award and then I would get like the team member of the year award. You know what I'm saying? I was getting both. And then the team member of the year award, that was like the biggest award you could get because you're the best team member out of everybody who works in the facility. And then my counselors that were under me, they were winning as well. It's like my assistant counselor and stuff like that. So for my whole team to be swiping the awards like year after year was kind of crazy. So <laughs> um, me, me, and then also everybody loved me. I had like, you know, I had, I had my dancers following me. I had people who wanted to play ping pong like me. I had people who wanted to play chess and checkers like me because I was, I'm good at all those games. I was focused. Like, my mind, I'm one of those people that have that mind, that focus, you know what I mean? And I also have a photographic memory. That's why I'm really good with Photoshop. I'll see stuff in the streets, but oh, I just start snapping. And then when I get home, I just start pulling all that stuff out. Like, oh, that's cool. That, that, that designer, I always give respect to all the designers in the world because everybody's creating and making amazing stuff, and then we all just build together. But anyway, so I had a lot of people that, that liked me, you know what I mean? And I also had my haters, too. I, I've, I've had haters all my life, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you're just good and great in certain things, you're going to have people who hate on you because they're not that good or the great. They think they are, but they're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a mental game. Um, so I'm sitting here, and I'm doing all this stuff. I'm like, you know, I'm, and I, the thing that got me was is that I was in the hood. My pops, you know what I'm saying, he didn't, he didn't raise, like, a good, stable home. Like, we were coming home to, like, Drugs, alcohol, fighting, cops always at my house. Like I couldn't ever concentrate and think on just I, just, I was still in school, couldn't even do homework when I got home, just had to worry about just finding some food to eat, just trying to keep, you know what I'm saying, living basically. But I would still get up and go to work. So I would go to work seven, I would be there at seven o'clock in the morning. This is, I'm a youngster doing this. Seven o'clock in the morning. And I was always like almost the last person to leave the building. From seven o'clock in the morning to like seven o'clock and the camp would close, but I would still stay to like aftercare and just help. You know what I mean, I was just that I was grinding, grinding, grinding. Like my boss needed like a Coke soda or a slice of pizza. I would run across the street and go grab that for him, bring it back here, here you go. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like I was doing some kiss ass shit. It was just like 
I was a hustler and I wanted other people around me to feel better about themselves and feel like they had somebody that could that that they could rely on because I didn't have that in my own household. So since I didn't have that in my own household, I didn't want to be the person to be like, oh, I didn't get this in my own household. Well, I'm not going to give it to other people. I'm not going to. No, I wanted to, I wanted other people to feel like they were great. You know what I mean, even though that I didn't feel like my life was great, I didn't feel like people supported me. And I still don't feel like I, I have a small amount of people who support me now. And but that small amount of people, they're they're they're, they're big to me. You know what I'm saying? They really hold like you know what I'm saying. They hold me up. But really, in my entire life, I never had people like pushing me, holding me, helping me. I've always been just struggling, struggling, struggling until I finally will be able to learn something. I'll learn this, I'll learn that. But it was a struggle to learn this and learn that. Anyway, so I'm going through and I'm I'm really just helping other people, but at the same time, not really getting anything in return. So not at home, not getting anything in return. Even in school, the, the school I went to, they they did what they they could do, but they were, they, they were too scared to even teach half the time because right? the kids were so wild, you know what I mean? So I barely got a little help at school, and then when I got to work, the when I got to like the working field, man, like the whole working field, the whole structure, the whole system is all bullshit. It's all fucked up. Yeah, this this is called what it is, man. It's not a team effort. So technically, it's supposed to be a team. Together, everyone achieves more. I work for you to to help build your company, but we're a team actually. I mean, if you don't have have us. You don't have nothing, you know what I mean? But it, it's not like that. They treat you like shit. They always say the customers are right. They always come down on you like you're not even, not even a fucking human being. Pardon my French. But I hate when a boss comes to you and starts talking all this extra shit to you like you're not even human. I'm human first. I'm a person. I bleed. I have skin. I breathe. I eat. I'm just like you. Stop just because I work here. Don't treat me like I'm some stupid motherfucker or like I'm just a robot. No, I live. I have feelings. So the same way this customer had feelings, I'm an employee of your company, but I still have feelings too. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a team effort. They don't really work with you. They look down on you. They try to keep you from growing. They don't really give you the raises that you need. Now, in my job now, I get good raises because I put in the work. You know what I'm saying? And my boss right now gives me very good raises. So I'm talking about in the past, or I'm talking about just in general, just people in general that have, that's going through this drama. You know what I'm saying? And I've been through the drama. Not now, but before. Um... So they don't really work with you. They don't really give you the raises. They want to hold the money back. When the money, it's a company. It's a corporation. What oil your machine that runs? Just get people the the raises. Give them the bread. Let them help them families. Like they gonna be more happy with that you're helping them. So I say that to say this. I went to my boss and asked for a raise, and I I never went to I never went to this boss and asked him for a raise before. But I went and I asked them. Oh yeah, we'll talk about it. Ba 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 ba. What you mean we're talking about it? Like, I'm t- I came to you right now. First of all, you should have gave me the respect because I mustered up the guts to come talk to you as a young man, a young black man at that. And you know what I'm saying? This was my boss was Caucasian. I had to muster that up to go stand in there and talk to him. But I did it. He put me off. So then probably like two weeks later, I go back to him like, did you, did you think about it? And he's standing outside. And so I go out there. I said, you, you, did you think about the raise? He caught an attitude. Uh, Jamel, like, come, like, come on now. Like, yeah, I told you, I'll think about it. But matter of fact, you know, just just wait. I'll, t- I'll try to see if I can talk about something today. I was like, oh, okay, I, I understand that. But you ain't got to catch some attitude with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to talk to you man to man. Like, I, I asked you before. And, you know, this is my life. You know what I'm, I'm working here, doing a lot. You know what, Jamel? You know, I, I don't need you. you. You're done. Fine. I don't need you. I don't I get anybody. I don't need you. I was like, all right, just like that. And on there was a ramp. So it's a ramp to let um you know disabled people, you know, because it was the place was in a church. So there's a ramp for the to roll the disabled people up into inside the gym. So we like right there. Kids is inside playing stuff like that. So once he fired me, I just I was standing, like looking at him like, like a man face to face, you know what I'm saying? And I just sat back on the rail. I sat on the rail and I just folded my arms and I was like, I was in my head. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I know I'm right. That's fucked up what this, this man just did. He has the power and authority over me because of the society system that we're in. And also because, um, you know, my, my parents, well, my pops mainly, he didn't do his due diligence to get us up into a, a stable place where we don't have to rely on a workplace and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying I wasn't taught how to be a farmer 
or anything like that, which I wish. I wish I was. I, shit, I'll farm. I grow my own shit. I don't need you. I, the, the, all the work I put into an organization, I could do for myself and my own company. I could do that. I could go farm. I, do, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Grow some damn corn, get some shit, filter water, get clean water, start milking cows. I'll, I'll do that shit. I'm not the type of person who need diamond rings and money and all that shit. Crazy. I don't need none of that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to live comfortable to chill. I sat back and was just sitting there. I ain't even say nothing after that because, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm being a man about my shit. I'm, I don't need to, st- I'm not begging you for my job, nothing. I just sat there. Now, he just sat there too, like, fuck it, like, because he knew he had the power. You know what I'm saying? I hate the fact that people use and abuse power over other people. That's the worst thing you can do in this world. It's the worst thing you just do in life. That's so disrespectful, so nasty, man. It's so disgusting. But anyway, I just sat there. And then well, eventually, uh, a couple like minutes went by, he started talking again. It's like, all right, Jamal, we'll go. We're going to talk about it today. Like we're going. We're going to work out the money today. What was the money again? He didn't even remember the money. And at that time, this was like this is well over ten years ago. So I was like, uh, I think we, I, think, I said maybe uh, thir- I, like thirteen dollars or fourteen dollars, something like that. I can't remember. So <laughs> then he said, like, "All right." I said, "So are you you rehiring me?" He said, "Yeah, I'm rehiring you. I'm rehiring you." I was like, "All right," and I just stood up. I said, "We'll talk later." And I walked my little ass in there and continued to work, like, like handle my business like nothing. So I've been through it, man. I have stories for days that let you know, like, I'm rock solid. There's nobody in this world that's going to shake me. I don't care. There's nothing you can do to me. And the only thing you can do to me is just off me. That's it. Just take me out. And I won't be here no more to even bother anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But other than that... Mentally, nobody can get to me mentally. I've been through so much. Like my pop says some crazy shit to me that was like the worst thing you could say to somebody. I got another vlog coming out about that too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all are getting to know Dynasty. You're getting to understand the, the man, you know what I'm saying, behind the Am I the Go instrumental series, Am I the Go freestyles, Am I the Go graphics, Am I the Go interviews that are coming. I want to give a big shout out to El Chapo because he's going to be the first person that I interview. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool to start that series off. So if you want to be a part of that, it's for everybody and anybody. It's interviews. So we're doing quick interviews. Um, the time I discussed it with Ghetto Styles. That's my road dog. He'll be giving me some pointers and insights. And um, like 10 minute interviews, 10 minutes, 15 minute interviews. And it's just basically, you know, you want to talk about your beats, you want to talk about your graphic design, you want to talk about, you know, your growth, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe your downfall, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I want to be that. A person for the community that gives these, these little short interviews to give people more of an insight to who you are. Links would be in the description for whoever we interview and uh, for everything. Am I the Ghost series? You always look in the description of the video to go to these people's channel. I do want to say this. Um, at this point in time, uh, this is what I feel needs to be done for my channel. I will be turning off the comment section for all my up and coming videos because I don't need the comments. I think everybody who has commented um, in the past really appreciate it, but the comments don't really do nothing for me personally. It's not a knock against you, but I do know that people use the comment section as a tool and they don't really watch the full video. And um, I really, I don't really care if people watch the video, to be honest with you. I know somebody's going to come along and be like, yo, this dude, Dynasty, I got to make a documentary about him. So that's the reason why I put the film, the footage up there. It's for that reason, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know, I know I'm destined. You know what I'm saying, and um, but the comment section people use it as a tool. They they make a fake comment, and with that fake comment, they utilize they they want people to see them, so then somebody can come to their page. I look at my YouTube analytics, and I can see that people are making comments, but they're not watching the full video. And people that I, I share their videos and stuff like that, people I think that are, are cool, I know they're faking they they're faking it in my videos. So um, I'm turning off the comment section. If you want to watch. Watch. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. Unsubscribe if you want to. You know, it doesn't make a difference to me. I'm still going to be rock solid, dynasty, you know what I'm saying, Jamel for the rest of my life. I'm going to be me. Nobody's going to change me. Nobody's going to knock me over. It's not going to happen. It's your boy, 05 Dynasty. You already know I ain't with that side talk. I did get fired, but I got rehired. You know what I'm saying? Pop shells at them. Rep your gang gang. I got to have surgery just to let y'all guys know. So I haven't been recording vocals, so I might be late in the album, but it's coming.